Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our newest edition of Combat Corner, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat. I know it's been a minute since I've done a Combat Corner edition. However, we have a big BKFC card tonight. It's BKFC 65 in Salt Lake City, Utah, featuring the flyweight women's championship between Christine Faria and Jade Masong Wong. Faria is coming off of, I think, a six. She's on a six fight winning streak. In that six fight winning streak, she has a win, two wins over Beck Rollins, a win over Taylor Starling, Britton Hart, uh, Calista Silgado, Kaylee Cutter. Her only loss was, God, five years ago, more than five years ago. You know, Faria is scary. <laughs> Needless to say, when you watch this uh, face-off between these two in the, in the weigh-in, they're ready to throw. Masson Wong is 3-1, and one, and, you know, she's a powerful puncher, but she's a powerful puncher at 115. Can that power translate to 125? That is the question. This is going to be a banger, and um, you don't want to blink. <laughs> you don't want to blink. I, I, I mean, I'm looking forward to this fight. And this card, uh, you have some other fights on this card that are of you know names on this card. Jeremy Stevens, the Lil Heathen Stevens. Now, Jeremy Stevens, for many people, he's fighting, he's fighting in the co-main event against Bobby Taylor, who is six and two. Oh, let me mention Christine Faria. She's 41 years old. I can't, I mean, my God, she's 41. So you wonder if her age might play a role in this. And, I mean, she she she's won six straight. But when you're fighting younger women, younger people, eventually, you know, father or mother time catches up to you. Could that be tonight? We shall see. In that co-main event, Jeremy Lil Heathen Stevens is fighting Bobby Taylor. Bobby Taylor is 6-2. and two. God, he's 46. I tell you, I'm 46. I can't imagine walking into a cage and punching, getting punched in the face. It would take a long time to get uh to recover, <laughs> needless to say. Um, Bobby Taylor's ranked fifth at lightweight. What is Stevens ranked at lightweight right now? Stevens is ranked, he's not ranked at lightweight, but he has he's one and oh. His only win his win was over Jimmy Rivera. Now, if you don't recall, Jimmy uh Jeremy Stevens is the fighter that Conor McGregor went on and when he was in the UFC said who the fuck is that guy <laughs> it was one of the funniest lines in history there's t-shirts made off made out of it and it's one of those things that will live in in history but the funny thing now with Conor McGregor being a part owner of BKFC he's also said that a fight between him and who the fuck is that guy would be a fun fight so he obviously knows who the fuck that guy is. <laughs> that is the co-main. That is the co-main event. And then we have, uh, let's see, the, the, one of the featured fights. You have the third fight in the card is Trevor Bradshaw. He's got one fight fighting. There's a couple of one and no fighters. Draco Rodriguez. That's the name. I mean, last, my, last, my last name is Rodriguez Shoma, but Draco sounds like a Russian name right there. Is a Drago. But of course, you know, we have a number we have on this card. We have what 12 fights. You always know that you can't blink. So if you do blink, you might miss it. And then this fight, this card is on Fubu Sports. And of course, or BKFC. You can get you can buy their uh their their annual pass. It is not expensive at all. You should grab it if you like watching fights. I mean, for as much money as people spend on the UFC to watch pay-per-view. This is a steal. You can get this for the whole year for less than what, and you get every fight card they have for less than what you would pay for one pay-per-view for the UFC. So I highly recommend it. BKFC continues to come up. Exciting stuff on tap. Don't blink because with the with BKFC, if you blink, you might miss it. We do have a number, a number of other things that are popping up that will be popping in the next couple of days. We have a couple of big interviews scheduled with fighters that are on the card next week in Hollywood. So we will be posting those. 
the Hollywood card, BKFC 66. That will be doing a feature on that all in itself. That fight card is headlined by, it's between Alberto Blas and Ryan Reber. We have talked to Alberto Blas in the past. El Indio, he is a knockout artist. His fights don't last long. You are gone quickly. You are gone real fast in fights with this guy. He puts you out fast. The last fight, he won, he won the belt in Hollywood versus Keith Richardson. I mean, he had him going for takedowns, and, and that fight was done in a minute. Most of his fights are done in about a minute. So this is going to be a huge, huge challenge for Ryan Reber. Ryan Reber is a dog. He's undefeated 6-0 and as well. And I expect this one to bring fireworks. I don't think it's going to last a long time. I, this is probably a one-round fight. Whoever catches who is going to win. I mean, obviously. But this is a fight between two undefeated fighters next week. And uh, it, it's a don't blink fight. It won't be one where they're circling and jabbing. And No, it's going to be bop, bop, bop. And we shall see. Also on that card, Howard Davis, 6-2-1 and one, uh, against James Brown, who was undefeated at 3-0. and oh. That is the co-main event. So you have, and on that card, you have 11 fights. This fight card is at the Hollywood Hard Rock, uh, Hard Rock Live in Hollywood, Florida. We are looking to be at that fight and be there live as we are in South Florida. Podcast. All that said, tonight, BKFC 65, don't miss it, and be on the lookout for more of our interviews, for interviews next week, coming up this weekend, next week, for fights on the card next week in Hollywood. That's all now. For, that's all for now on Combat Corner. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We greatly appreciate you. Come on now.